Okay, so we're still on the Rounded Guitarist 5, actually. Um, the second 12-bar blues that's on page 6 expands things from the easier one that you've just had a little look at. So what's happening here is that when you play the 5th string, you can start using the left hand as well, and we can put down the 2nd fret on the 4th string at the same time when you're playing the 5th string, so you're playing both together. Now take a look at the way that you're pushing down up here. Um, it's important that when you're pressing down a fret that you try and get behind the actual metal bit here, not on it, not at that end, not in the middle, but right behind there. So I put some pressure on there, and if I push here, I'll get nothing. That same pressure, which isn't much, is going to push down the note there. If you're really, really struggling to push your, your, your string down and get a sound, it can sometimes be to do with the fact that you've got maybe steel strings. They can be a bit sore, to be honest, when you're pushing them down. Um, it could be that the action on the guitar is bad, so in other words, the strings are too high away from the fretboard. So you want to be trying to um, make sure that there's nothing stopping you pushing it down correctly. So anyway, um, yeah, when you're playing the first bar in this one, it should sound like this. <laughs> Again, support your right hand, I'm holding on to the bottom here. When you get to the, the second line there at bar 5, you've got the D string, and you're also putting the second fret below that one, and you're playing the two of those together, so you're... And on the last line, there's another change. When you do the 6th string, you also want to do the 2nd fret on the 5th string below that as well. A little bit of advice here, point the pick towards your face. Don't point it straight into the guitar and expect to get it easily through both strings. Point the pick towards your face and you'll go through the strings a lot easier. And just take it gentle, don't yank it through. should be quite relaxed on both hands. Make sure your thumb, by the way, is opposite your first finger, like this. And try not to um, kind of grab your guitar like that and have your thumb up here and stuff. What you're looking for is your thumb down like that and a nice kind of relaxed hand with your fingers over the fretboard, not flapping all over the place. So keep them quite close to the fretboard. So here's what it sounds like. 12 bar blues with power chords in A. practicing everybody. Go to uh, guitar-teacher-falkert.co.uk if you're looking to ask me any questions, go to the contact page and you'll get some information on there. Otherwise, leave me a comment down below and I'll try and answer any of your questions. Okay.